Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Audi e-tron S Sportback prototype. What a bold statement. I am really a fan of both prototypes, the Audi e-tron S and the e-tron S Sportback. Now they both look very powerful and to find out whether they really are as powerful as they look, we should speak to someone who should know because he has already driven them. Let's have a chat with Mr. e-tron Extreme, Matthias Ekström. Hi Matthias, you have already climbed the Mausefalle in Kitzbühel in an e-tron. But now we even took it one step further. We just saw those spectacular clips from the racetrack and we want to know from you, how does it really feel to drive an e-tron S? Yeah, as you just mentioned, I've been climbing the Mausefalle. That was cool on snow and ice, but today I had my first lap on a real racetrack. I got it more than once, really sideways, and it made a lot of fun. Wow, that really looked like you had a lot of fun. Tell me, how do e-tron power and the new Quadro work together? Like, how does this technology work? Well, you have uh, three electronical engines, and then uh, you would say that's the modern way of Quattro, and then there's a fantastic software. So once I drive, I can feel you can get the drift angles a bit like you wish, and the car stays very stable. I'm sure the software guys have made a very good job. Thank you, Matthias, for these insights. Keep on drifting, and I'll see you soon. The Audi e-tron S and Coupe-inspired e-tron S Sportback arrived to give the brand's electric crossovers a boost in performance. These performance-focused models offer 496 horsepower and 717 foot-pounds of torque on 8-second boost mode rather than the existing model's 402 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. During normal driving, the S has 405 horsepower and 596 foot-pounds of torque versus 355 horsepower and 414 foot-pounds of torque on our regular versions. The drive has been programmed for efficiency in everyday life. In normal driving mode, only the rear electric motors work. The front drive is unpowered but switches itself on, with the driver barely noticing. If the driver needs more power, it also switches on predictively if the grip declines. It does so when fraction values are low and during rapid cornering. The electric all-wheel drive is complemented by a further technical innovation in the form of electrical torque vectoring, which brings the advantages of the conventional sport differential into the electric era. Each one of the rear electric motors sends the drive forces directly to the wheel via a transmission. There is no longer a mechanical differential. 40 years following the launch of Quattro technology, Audi is thus raising the principle of four powered wheels to a completely new level of technology. The result, more agile driving and self-steering characteristics and thus a higher cornering speed. On the interior, there isn't that much difference over the existing e-tron models. Electrically adjustable sport seats are standard and S badges adorn the cabin. As options, buyers can select chairs with thicker bolsters or air-conditioned seats with perforated leather. Audi doesn't offer any pricing or delivery info for the e-tron S models yet. Judging by the rest of the brand's lineup, it's safe to expect them to carry a cost premium over the existing versions.